had 2013 Hack Odyssey. Uh, 2013 Hack Odyssey is a 10 hour high school CTF event. Uh, we actually had eight teams from six different schools, everyone from Papillion La Vista to a Millard School to Bellevue East to Omaha North. So we hit all our bases for the various schools um, and various school districts. So it was, it was more to bring the CTF, the Capture the Flag idea, to the local community, which is uh, something we've been pushing for a long time. We wanted uh, Nullify to be an educational group, not so much a, here's a private thing that we do at UNO. It's more of a, hey, we're here, we want to help the community, and we want to be beneficial to everyone around us. Uh, CTF stands for Capture the Flag event. It's a, in this particular case, a Jeopardy style uh, challenge. So for a Jeopardy style CTF, you would have multiple categories, uh, like web, conversing, scripting, and each one of those categories would have a certain number of challenges, each worth a different point value, and that would be based on the difficulty of the challenge. We had something um, over 30 challenges in the base, and then uh, of course we had additional flash challenges today. Uh, everything ranging from playing an Xbox, to picking a lock, to actually we had a small scavenger hunt that the kids had to run around, uh, which was kind of funny. There are scripting challenges, which are based more like ACM challenges. There are recon challenges, which you have to scour the web for types of information, so if I'm trying to find some guy's internet handle, you will have to go on the internet, figure out what his real name is, like where he goes, like what email he uses, and then try to find what his internet handle is based on that information. There is reverse engineering challenges, which require you to look at executables, um, figure out how they actually work on the bike level, and basically re reverse them so that you can pull the key out. The key is normally encoded somehow inside of the executable. There are web challenges, which is like web applications. So what you would do is you would try to like do SQL injection across site scripting on the web application. And then depending on how the challenge is set up, you can pull the key out the information. To start off, Nullify is, of course, the computer security group at the University of Nebraska Omaha. Um, we normally have anywhere from 20 to 30 people at our weekly meetings. Uh, we've had a max of 80 people at any given meeting. Um, and Nullify is kind of this collective. Um, we focus on security, information security, um, at our base point, but we've branched out to everything from weather balloons to picking locks, to um, simply just hanging out in the lab. Nullify, um, at least my ideal idea of Nullify, is something to prepare you for uh, getting a job in the future, um, teach you the hands-on skills that you don't necessarily learn in your classes, and um, you know, build up a little bit of networking from people who have been in the program longer, and uh, know a little bit more about what you need on your resume, and what impresses employers enough to get a job in the future. Getting the awareness to students earlier and earlier is extremely important because of you know, real simple things like, you know, you have fourth graders with email accounts you now, and they don't know anything about phishing, so they get an email with a web link in it, and they're going to click it and infect the machine that belongs to mom and dad, and the next thing you know, mom and dad's uh, banking information is, is squirreled away somewhere in China. You know. So, um, outreach to High school is a tremendous thing. Outreach to even junior high or elementary school is probably a good idea too.